Yeah! Your space and paying for the privilege. I'll be looking at the electronic game craze, which has not only fascinated the nation, but which has created some interesting problems as well. In 1978, a new Japanese machine appeared on American shores. Although it looked innocent enough, this machine turned out to have some unusual powers. It kept kids mesmerized for hours, made teenage boys forget about girls, and even caused business executives to skip the free martini lunch. Hola gang! This, my friends, is an arcade one-up cabinet. And it used to house a number of Mortal Kombat games, as you can tell. But it is no longer a mild-mannered one-up machine. Inside there is a Raspberry Pi 3 with RetroPie on it and over 8,000 games. Uh, this one is used without a riser, uh, with a riser that sits underneath the machine. It, it puts the machine's controls at the same height as a normal arcade machine. Now, RetroPie is a piece of software that sits on, in this case, a Raspberry Pi 3, which is essentially a small computer, and it allows me to play video games. This particular one has a lot of different emulators on it, as I said, with over 8,000 game ROMs. And I think I have that all right. Now, an emulator is hardware or software that enables one computer system to behave like another computer system. In this case, it's a piece of software that acts like anything from a video game arcade to video game consoles, such as uh, NES, Super NES, N64, uh, Neo Geo, Sega Genesis, Atari 2600, 7800, and, and a whole lot more. When you see a ROM of a game, you're not seeing anything that looks and plays like the original, but it is the actual original video game. If I wanted to, I could attach game controllers for better playability of some of the console games. I, I plan to put in a trackball or get a separate cabinet that has a trackball um, so I can play games like Crystal Castles and Centipede, Missile Command, Marble Madness, and, and some of the other ones that use a trackball. I'm partial to the arcade games back in the arcades in the 80s, because that just, like I said, takes me back to my youth. Some of my favorites, uh, Miss Pac-Man, Donkey Kong Jr., Popeye, Marble Madness, Satan's Hollow, Tron, Discs of Tron, and I could go on and on and on and on. What is your favorite video game? I want to know. If you have a favorite or a few different favorites, go ahead and leave it down in the comments. This is a fantastic, perfect setup right here. It's, it's fairly inexpensive and it provides me with all the fun of playing all the video games from back in the day when I was young. If you're interested in doing something like this, I put links down below in the description for you so you can find out all you need to do to, to set one up for yourself. There you go, gang. Hope you found this interesting and informative, and uh, I'm, I'm just having a, an absolute blast with this thing and just wanted to share. You guys have a freaking awesome day. Thanks for watching the video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and uh, share it around if you liked it even more. <laughs> I will talk to you later. Bye now.